Greetings everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover and thank you for rejoining me here in the Thousand Week Reich in which we're playing as the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics in which we shall continue. We have finished actually with filling the NKVD's shoes and now we should do transfer the NKVD jurisdiction to the NPs or MPs. With NKVD influence diminishing due to our efforts, we'll have to transfer their former duties to our loyal and more capable MPs in which we get 10% more political power. Not bad. Because right now, that's not bad. Our own secret police. Division of Technical Core Territory. One of these party factionalism is really hurting our PP right bad. It's so bad. And this one actually, our own secret police, will get 10% more PP. Nice. But we'll finish up or do another one with Clear the Politburo of NKVD members. At its height, the NKVD permeated all levels of Soviet society, including the ruling Politburo. If we are to ever dis distance ourselves from the legacy of Beria's terror, oh boy, what a dude. We must purge all NKVD influence from the Politburo. Oh boy, the Nor North Sea Naval Exercise, but more importantly, the death of Papa Himley. Oh no! He's dead? No, not in my campaigns. He's never dead in my campaigns, and or in our campaigns. Oh no, he's too much fun to keep around. Who's... Hmm... Who's better? Himmler? Or Beria? I mean, we, as we saw in the very beginning of the last episode, I mean, Beria died because of, was it, blood loss? Of getting his... As someone put in the comments of the last video, getting his junk ripped apart and bitten off, just... Him or Himmler? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have asked that type of question. But then again, let me know in the comments below what do you guys think. Who do you think is... Who, who could be worse? Or who was worse? Who Or who is worse than Thousand Week Reich? Himmler or Beria? Hmm. I think I have my answer. But I want to wait and see what you guys' answers are. But let's go ahead and do clear that Pilota Bureau of the NKVD members. But man... We start off very awkward, very graphic in, the, in this campaign last episode. But, happy 1954, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Move to recreate the Ministry of the Interior. Oh, Mexico. Hello, Mexico. With the old agency on its way into the dustbin of history, it's time we created a new and reformed secret police to take its place. And we replace no more NKVD politicians with protection under the Ministry of the Interior. And once you get less foreign subversive activities efficiency. Not too shabby, as we're trying to build up more civvies and equip our armies and a couple cops to go through. Uh, someone recommends we take out all of Siberia, or at least the rest of Russia, before we march west to Berlin, Germany. Uh, which is another comment. Wow, the German Reich is doing really well. Another comment from yesterday included. When we get to Berlin, Germany, or Germania, there's a special little event for us. Especially for Zukov, so I can't wait to see what it is. I might or already might not know what it's about, but we'll see. As well as... Uh, what am I going to play as the Thousand Week Reich Poland and or play as Tito, Josip Broz Tito as well, or at least Serbia. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We will definitely see. Uh, time permitting, maybe soon. I don't know. We'll see. But let's move to recreate the Ministry of the Interior. That'd be quite good. Followed up with pro Procure Material, Personnel and Property. The former members of the NKVD have hoarded wealth and property and property for their own gain. Very un-Soviet behavior. Their material worth now will now serve as a state instead of servicing the pockets of the elites. Better consumer factories and more recruitable population factor. Now I do wonder. Red Southwest Red Army Command. Could we send volunteers? We might just be able to, but they're almost done with their war, so I don't think it'd be really worth it. I don't want to send any volunteers to these people over here. Uh, what type of wars are going on in the world right now? Uh, a lot of German wars, Mexican indigenous war, uh, Russian, West Russian, oh, Moscow Red Army, might be a group we actually want, might want to help out. Revolutionary communists, we can send two divisions, we're socialists, uh, Oblast, social democrats, but then autocrats, national daddyists, you guys are probably the ones we really want to send people to, so, tanks, I suppose we could try to send some sort of tanks. Moscow Red Army sounds like the group we should probably help out, but, but then you find out this is the exact group we don't want to help out, so... You never know. Actually, how many planes can we send in there? Um, uh, 160, that's not bad. Uh, let's get some fighters. I kind of doubt they would actually have fighters, so I'll send you guys over. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you uh, very, very much. Uh, let's see if we can help out. Ah, we're doing some damage. Oh, the Swiss Army and the Liberation Movement and whatever is doing a whatever job. Very nice. And the next... One we did was that one, and the one Prunt Admiral Kuznetsov, Minister. Very nice. Oh, I guess the Swiss are here. And they're a permanent nation. A peace treaty, huh? Passive diplomacy? Ah, a little bit of conflict in our lives makes us nice and happy. It puts a smile on our face. Sometimes. Ah, Zukov. Yes, why not? 
All right, looks like you guys got encircled. Now, there's no guarantee that we'll actually be able to help you out. But we'll do our best. Right, we shall all do our best together. Hold and get down to where I told you to go. And let's go ahead and do this one. And then we shall do next. Ooh, there goes Veselon, appoint Admiral. A good enough minister. We need someone who can, we can trust to spearhead this new Ministry of Internal Security. And Zukov's wartime friend and decorated Admiral Nikola Kutsinov. Kutsinov sounds like a perfect candidate. Not bad. In which we do get some consumer goods. Polish democracy is restored. Wow. They believe in democracy in Poland? I guess so. Can you guys pierce us? They cannot pierce us. So that's pretty darn good. Yeah, Old SS Oldenstadt Denmark is gone. Oh, that's so sad. So sad. Oh, well. Why don't I just say go? You know, they could probably just go. I want to get some main battle tanks, too. Um, That's a little bit ahead of time. Let's grab some more main battle tank reliability. APCs. We'll see what we can do about that. Because we really should make some main battle tanks. Medium tanks are okay and all, but main main tanks, main battle tanks are where it's at. Well, what's some more encryption? What if we just let you guys rip? You should do relatively okay, right? Right? Right. Cool. And currently we get 0.26 political power every single day. Perk data are nice. And if you guys are helping out, they there are two, deliver, two uh, divisions all right here. Um, that's not bad. You could do that. That guy's going to get encircled. Uh, yeah, it's just better if we manually do this. Not bad. That's so sad. Oh, well. They still can't pierce us. Come on, crush them underneath your tank treads. Okay, there you go. Let's go ahead and do this and read this first. Just to be safe, execute Konev. There remains one last thorn in Comrade Zukov's side, and that's General Ivan Konev. While he might be influential, he remains associated with the former NKVD, and because of that, he must be... He must go as well. Oh, we'll get rid of the Union in shambles, NKVD's reign of terror, equip them and establish and remove Ivan Konev. Not once, but twice. And we get the Minister of Interior Protects. More pol political power, recruitable population factor, consumer goods, and some other stuff too. Nice. And remove party factionalism. That's pretty darn nice. Not gonna lie, that's that's pretty good. I do want to desperately try to save these guys, so we'll see what happens. If you could please just zoom, zoom, that would be very delightful. Oh, how dare you! You don't want us to rescue these guys. What's wrong with you? It'd be a shame if you guys here got encircled as, as well. Oh boy. Put them down. Put them down. Traders to the revolution. All of them, obviously. Oh, I see what you're doing. Oh, no, 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 no. The Slovak Uprising Spring thingamabob. Just get rid of them, please. Good, good. Actually, go there. Find that division and tell it to go home. And by home, I mean die. Oh, wow, they actually got all the way over there, huh? Oh, they actually might have supplies through these groups, too. Okay, that makes sense, then. Keep these guys busy. Keep them busy. And actually... Our plans are still doing a good job, but you guys might want to move over here so we can actually have some sort of effect. There you go. The Ungolden War, Africa has a voice. It does. Fianna Fáil elected. Okay, good luck with that, whatever that is. Probably Irish, just being Irish. And, ah, just to be safe, execute him. We actually have a decision. Well, look at that. An ultimatum in the Southwest Red Army Command. Gets in it. Soviet demands. Return capital to Moscow. Ooh. During the 40s, Mother Russia was brutally butchered by the invading Germans, resulting in the utter collapse of stability, allowing the birth of many splinter states all across the former Union. But now we have finally reorganized and are once again ready for the reunification struggle. Our troops shall liberate every inch of occupied Russia and bring in a new age of security and a recovery. Not bad. Uh, Soviet demands. Well, we could try it. You know, we could try it. If they say no, then maybe we can invade. That'd be kind of fun. Not gonna lie, kind of fun. Whoa. Sounds pretty good. But, uh, just in case, maybe we should get over here. Any upgrades for Alexi? Hello, Alexi. No? Okay, then. So be it. Alright, so once this one is done... Oh, they want to go towards someone else. Then we'll talk about the little Armenian. The Armenians believe themselves above the Union, above the march of history itself. Surely they think fortune has favored their little independent experiment. How utterly wrong they are. And how we shall prove them wrong with our armies. The time has come to reassert the workers' yoke on this foolish little upstart with any luck. We, they will scarcely have time to react before the armies melt before them like butter on hot, hot, steamy toast. Cool. 
the return of the Soviet Republic of U Ukraine. The Soviet Republic of Ukraine has accepted our demands and have officially returned to the embrace of the motherland, allowing our administration to return to this region. We are now one step closer to reunification. Glory to the motherland! Well, bad words, man. Lots and lots of bad words. Wow! <laughs> now this, I would say, is gaming. Now this is nice. Look at all this garbage army. Jesus Christ, Ukrainians, what have you been doing? You did get 24 arm division, so I can't fault them too much, but... This is weird. We, we're snaking around through here. We don't, do we have, we don't have a unique uh, faction. We just snake and poke our head through here like, Hello, Germany! Hello! Oh, you can only... Have, oh, you're a power trooper. I don't like you then. Alright, well... I guess we got a lot more divisions to experiment with down here. How about Zukov? Would you like to be in control of this here tank general general stuff? I don't think the Navy's going to... Wait. The German spring? Even the Germans are tired? Well, that's nice. Oh, no. Ship combat. I don't think ship combat's going to be super, super important for us here. So I'm not really going to pay attention to it too, too much. Just make a bunch of these. Unless we've got some thick battleships that I can really sink my teeth into, or carriers. I'm not really too interested, but that's really good that we did this. Now, ultimate to the United Soviets. Okay. Integrate Boulogne. Oh, are these guys not integrated? Oh, they are... Oh, they're... 54%! Resistance! How dare you! Absolutely dare you! Alright, very good, very good, very good. Uh, resistance in Rex Commissariat Ukraine. Hmm... Not very bueno, I would say. Support companies. Uh, grab some engineers, because we love engineers. Don't ask me to ever do math, because I can't do it. But that's just me. Actually, when we annexed them, we didn't get any more guns. That sucks. But we did get, hopefully, a few more military factories, and we're making some more of this. We definitely need to lower our uh, export level. Ooh, that's not good. We need to go there. But after this, yeah, we're going to do the little Armenian. And we might as well read about taming Le Desert. The scattered region of Turkestan has not fared well in our absence. The collapse of wide-scale industry, an economic downturn, and a general political vacuum has made development painfully slow. We will save this broken region from itself and return to its rightful superiors, and Almaty will once again become an oasis of social prosperity in the vast wilderness of the South. If that means we must drag them all to the collective census, so be it. Return of the United Soviets! The United Soviets has accepted our demands and have officially returned to the embrace of the motherland, allowing our administration to return to this region. We are now one step closer again to all reunification. Glory to the motherland. I'll be honest, guys. Like, this is... This is probably the most gains I've ever had in a single episode by doing nothing. You know, if long-time uh, followers of this channel, they probably know that I've actually probably had better gains. But this is ridiculously good for us, so... We got more factories. Sure, we got some more territory that needs to be cored and stuff. Holy crap, we need way more guns. But, hey, we're now we're at 11 out of 15 here. Holy bad words. Hey, America went to... Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, they actually returned their lands. That's a cut off. Oh, that sucks. Oh, why? Why? Look at that. Why is this so long? Why? Why is this split into two, then? The German compromise? Unexpected? Oh, are you led by Meinhof? No, that's a TNO thing. No, they're the tr Democratic Transitional Government. Okay. Okay, no, never mind. They're gone. <laughs> uh, no one likes the Socialist Germans, apparently. Mm. God, I love water too much. This is disgusting. Okay, at the very least, you have to connect these lines together. Why would you... Why? Why? Bad words, but why? And... <sighs> Reinhard Heydrich. Papa Reinhardt. He's a god of death. Did you know that? The UN has come far. The, act the UN actually did something here, huh? Just just get rid of Konev. That'd be a good idea. Ah, very good. The little Armenian. Ooh, the little Armenian. What are coming for you? I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm just like going crazy right now. 1.11 political power every single day. We got rid of some god awful national spirits. And now we're looking pretty okay. Not great, but pretty okay. Molotov. Did we get our own faction? I, you know, you, you, you guys literally told me to you know, march east first instead of going west, but I'm kind of glad I went west. I'm really glad I went west. SS Oldenstadt Gottenland. Oldenstadt? Was that just a government? Like, Oldenstadt? Like, state order? State mandated, like, order or something? I don't know. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should stop training now. At least you guys are all, like, regulars, so that's pretty good. That's good enough, so. Or at least trained. That's, eh, some of you guys are inexperienced, but whatever. You guys are, some of you guys are extremely weak. My goodness. Some of y'all need Jesus. But then again, we're communists here, so we'll see what happens. Integrate Vilno, integrate, uh, Novogradek. 
War propaganda against the U.S. sounds pretty good. We got a lot of stability, a lot of war support. So far, I've been loving this campaign. It's not too bad. You know, these guys are better world cup than us. But if we take the soldiers over, we actually might get some weapons. We got a lot of manpower. We got... Look at the consumer goods factories. Wow. 15 and 6? Holy crap. That's really good. Wow. I mean, this is... This is not bad. This is a little easy. Oh. <gasps> America has invaded Germany. Oh, boy. The All-Soviet People's Party. Oh, Zukov, he's doing a great job. Can still use more PP, though. Actually, we could probably import some more tungsten. Um, who do we love? The Communitarian Republic of India? We'll do at least one. How about that? Because we do need more main battle tanks. We just need a lot more stuff. Period. Strategic redeployments. Offensive theory? Or defensive theory? No, we, I want to go offensive. As much as I like defensive stuff, I want to be offensive. Get 50% more soft attack. I could get more defense and organization. More max entrenchment. Planning, eh, planning speed isn't that great. Heart attack is okay. You know what? 50% soft attack. Let's get more organization. Organization is used on attack and defense, so let's get that one. It's not that much more, but I think overall it could be used to quite a good effect. Oh, we got other stuff. You know what? I'm not even, don't even, I'm not, nope. Nope, nope. I don't use paratroopers right now. Light infantry is better than the NKVD ones just for suppression, but then we have cavalry, so I'm not even going to use that. Whatever. Uh, oh, the little, the little Armenian. I don't know what's wrong with me. I am, I'm going crazy at the, in this episode. Ivan Bagramyan. Bagramyan. Professional military, the refugee tsunami. Wow, plus 90% monthly population. Unorganized warlords. Oh, I can't wait to beat you. Now we're not going to do that well, probably. Just because, uh, well, it is what it is. Actually, do we have any more planes? I would like a few more planes. Do we not? Do we not? Oh, oh that must be controlled by those guys. Uh, let's see what happens. Maybe... It's looking pretty okay right now. The front line is kind of stalled. I mean, our soldiers aren't that strong, so we'll see. Supplies aren't very good. You know what? Just delete these two divisions. That might save us on a few guns here and there. Uh, tanks, they're not great, but they're definitely moving. Losses, 47 versus 10,000. That's pretty good. Oh, we took out a militia division, which looks like they might have been done doing some last stand, but that's okay. Gurdiev, Gurdiev. That should be it, right? That, I, oh, oh, we need uh, Balakovo, Andre Getman. Oh, Andre, Andre, our sweet little Andre. Why do you leave? Obviously, we can't do that much damage. Are they seriously doing last stand? No, they're not. But it looks like they are. Bordini, you sound Italian. Oh no. Goodbye, Trans Volga. You deserve to die, you stupid warlord state. <laughs> Let our meaning go bye bye. God, I sound like the uh, Turkish people in 1917 or whenever they did the, the uh, good times, the bad times to them. Not good times. Whatever. Oh, nuclear arm stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Sure, why not? And up next, Taming Le Desert. So which ones can we go to war with? A reclamation of Central Asian territories. Well, supply is going to be pretty darn bad around here. So I'll send you guys there, maybe. Because supply is pretty bad. And I'll send you guys, 23 divisions over here, which is probably going to ruin supply. Not very good. And it's always a great idea to send tanks in the mountains. Good luck, everyone. You're definitely going to need it. Darlan, elected president. Good luck with that, I guess. And you guys, just surround the Moscow Red Army. Oh, you're fighting Adolfsburg, eh? Return capital to Moscow? Well, we'll see what happens after this one. Shmenko falls ill? Oh, well. Reclaiming the Arctic ports. Norsk? Ooh. Enter Siberia. Oh, reclaiming the Arctic ports. We've allowed Suslov his little nuclear playground. He, may he grow an extra pair of eyes to complement that bespeckled stare of his, but in doing so, we find we have fortified our access to the Arctic. While we are tempted to dismiss the entire area as worthless, frozen dirt, our naval bureaucrats tell us that much could be done with the port infrastructure in Norsk. We will heed their advice and cast this merry band of squatters into the icebergs and build a legitimate port off their wharfs. They will rest easy knowing that our ruin of a state is useful at last. Very good. Now we can do this stuff here. Refining, eh, that's okay. Consumer goods. Construction speed, 5%. I'd rather have more consumer goods than losing, than getting, um, I would rather have 
the consumer goods that we use instead of getting that 5% construction speed bonus. More consumer goods is just better overall, at least in my opinion. So, Which I might be wrong about, which I might be correct about, but actually... I would, you know, we can't manually justify which sucks, but what can we do here? Oh, restore order? Oh, look at that, yes. We have to spend our PP? I don't want to use my PP to take people out. That actually sounds very entertaining to me, but... Um, Kazakh Socialist Republic? Let's take them out first. Oh, man. Just... An ultimatum? Uh... Oh, oh it, it worked earlier, so we might as well try it now, right? And we do get 1.11 every single day, but I guess we might as well read into a Siberia. Bratia, Altai, Krasnoyarsk, and Novosibirsk bear the traces of the Union's last great fission, fragments of the upheaval of the retreat to Moscow, even if Krasnoyarsk believes it is upholding orthodoxy. These little statelets have no purpose other than to make our enemies strong and Russia weak. We must expel the petty little war power games from Central Siberia and build a capable socialist administration in their place. To, fa if to fail in doing so was a real tragedy, and the violence of success merely a, necess a necessity. Very good. Uh, up next, let's grab some of this. It doesn't help out that much, but it's nice to have. Hopefully we can do it here. They're, they're, they are well uh, equipped, so... Not a lot of divisions, but they are quite well equipped. Guys, just go in. Oh, I put you in a bad area, didn't I? Just go to... Ah, yeah, guys, return to the Moscow Red Army. The Moscow Red Army has accepted our demands and officially returned to the embrace of the motherland, allowing our administration to return to this region. Glory to the motherland. Okay, I'll be honest here, like... Actually, that was one of the comments, like, on my Discord server someone gave me, that all the communists are winning. I did not do anything to do this. Like, off-screen, I did not, like, make them win or put it in favor of them. I didn't do any of that at all. Like, holy cow. One, the Ukraine, the United Soviets, the Moscow Red Army. This has got to be the easiest campaign almost anyone's ever done. Trying to, uh, reunify Russia. Like, or maybe? I, I don't know, but, like, holy crud. Why'd I do that? Uh, see over here. That's what I want to do. No. There you go. That's what I wanted to do. But, like, I didn't do anything off-screen to make them, like, super strong or anything like that. Like, this is ridiculously easy. Getting all these guys together. There's not even a historical option for, T for TWR, you know, Thousand Week Reich, so... Goodbye. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really have no idea. I don't know why it's this easy. But I'm enjoying it. You know, sometimes... Sometimes I really do need a campaign where it's so far pretty easy. It might become more difficult later on. Who knows? I don't. At least at the time of this recording. We'll figure that out soon enough. But... Like, this has been pretty good. Return the ca capital of Moscow? Actually, do we have Moscow as a core? We probably do, yes. Our current capital is Perm, which is not bad. But that's a slightly bigger population. Let's go do that. These guys should be dying pretty easily, right? Let's go ahead and move on in. Thank you. Let's go. Don't let, don't let the things come here. Oh, look at that. The motherland mourns. The premier watches as the mother. For what? Th for that is what the sculptor calls her. Is unveiled from the canvas that hides her. It's a relatively lightweight frame for a monument, and around the woman, the still scaffolded ruins of Moscow cast a grim dra dra backdrop to its hulking, brooding shape. Now the sculptor Yevgeny Volchitev, that is right, saunters to the premier. His hand extended in subtle warmth. Welcome to Moscow, premier. He sweeps his hand at the statue of the mother. Its eyes darken in shadow. Welcome to my little handiwork. If you'll pardon the unfinished state, the premier chuckles. Thank. Thank you, Comrade Vujicic. Even now, I can see the strength in her eyes. The statue ex exceeds the latter. Even with the strain visible from the child in the mother's arms, the gaunt look about the mother's face is framed in subtle, clenched jaws, and her fists are half clenched. Yes, strength and pain. Fitting, it is a beautiful statue. Vujicic's own eyes grew distant. Did you know, Premier? I planned this little statue with my wife on my heart. Did she did not escape letting grab the poor fool. She, he's whispering now, a confession or a plea. I thought of how she would look like... With a child we raise, if she had known, we would take it all back. This will bear her image, even if the face is not hers. Please forgive this little transgression, Premier. The Premier's words shock the little gray-haired man. If she were here, Comrade Vucetic, I know she would be proud. The blood of our martyrs is a shed in hope. A hand is proffered, and standing here on a sacred ground, I believe that hope has been fulfilled. The two were silent for a long while, as a statue watched on. How sad. Quite terrible. But we are re reuniting the motherland. Oh. Alma Alta. Cool. And this one will be done in about two weeks. Not too bad. And we can still take other people, which we like. And we enjoy. I guess realistically, we don't need that division. Well, actually, actually, we probably do. I don't, shouldn't have deleted that, but whatever. Alright, who's next? 
Um, Turkmen People's Republic. Turkmen, Turkmen, Turkmen. Alright, so we don't have too many supply issues here. So, actually, I'll probably just send tanks, maybe? Desert. Oh, that might not be good. Let's get all of you guys out of here. Come up here. Come up here. And tank arenas just kind of hang on out. Just hold and don't do anything. Alright, not bad. Reclaiming the Arctic ports into Siberia, my friends. Hey, 1556, not bad. Pretty good, I'd say. Wow. That's pretty bad. Opening the Gotland International Wooden Airport. Very cool. You guys can probably win already, but we'll see what happens. Switch you force the attack. Oh, yeah, now you're going to win. Now that's pretty good. And we need some more PP. Norlsk. Ah, Norlsk would be. Ah. Is it really Norlsk or. It is Norlsk. Alright. Emrakovo. Alright, very cool. Very cool. We've lost 18 versus 13,000, so I'd say that's pretty good. Alright, so for this division, you just put them over here and just kind of hang out in the Ural Mountains. Very nice. You guys are doing a pretty good job. Let you guys go up there. How many guns are we missing? Oh, 12, oh 20,000, which is better than 32,000 that we saw earlier, so not too bad. Nice. They will get to where they need to be. And that'll be a good thing. I'm not too worried about them. How are we doing up here? Pretty darn good, I suppose. The other guys keep moving around. Construction four. Let's grab some more output. Factory output. Uh, base efficiency base. Get some more factory output. That's good. Alright, so supplies are pretty bad up here. I wonder if we can actually just win. Yeah, supplies are extremely bad up here, so... Yeah, it looks like, for the most part, yes. Hopefully we can just keep doing that. Oh, polio vaccine declared safe. Wow, America, UK, what did you do? Hi, Reinhard Heydrich, you guys can still win, right? We're still rooting for you. Please? America, why? Why do you not like Bavaria or neither Bayern? Why did you give the UK Ostpreußen? The Mediter Oh, the Triumvirate? Oh, the Triumvirate, okay, that's cool. Are we winning yet? How about down here? I know gun situation is probably pretty bad. Yeah, they just kind of kept moving around. Yeah, just keep killing them. No. Oh, there goes the SS. Uh, oh, well. Um, Now we have no focuses to do. That is different. Alright. Radar would be nice, but I guess we'll grab some... Industry civil. I'll do concentrate industry because we can. Hey, it's Man People's Republic. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Germany surrenders. That's a good thing. Oh, wait. What if we want to go Germany, though? Oh, crap. That means we have to go to war with the Americans and such. I don't know if I want to fight the Americans. I'll be honest. Oh, France got their stuff back. Just had to spill a lot of American and French and British blood, that's all. Oh, and Germany must be released, probably. Yep, the Czechs are back, the Slovaks are back. The Poles are back. Oh, Jesus Christ, the Poles got a lot back. Who is next? Austria? Swiss government restored. Liechtenstein. Do we really need Liechtenstein here? There goes. Oh. Denmark. War reaches Denmark. Um, Belgium's back. Harrowing times. Uh, who else do we have here? Krasnoyarsk, Chita, Altai, Krasnoyarsk, I said, Novosibirsk. Yeah, can we keep moving in, guys? Nice, 90,000 is a little better. Do they have any divisions left? No, they don't. That's good. Oh, there goes the Olden shot. You can't take him out, apparently. Come on, keep going, 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 going. And who's been released? 
The German Confederal Union. All right. Well, that's probably really ugly. Yeah, I don't like how the way this looks. I really don't like that. Wait, what? You go to war with Hungary. Just because they're fascists after they lost the war against Romanians. If anything, you should punish, punish the Romanians first. Because they're only fascists because they lost the war against those guys over there. So, America, I might really be questioning your motives right now. The Hellenic State? Yeah, okay. Not bad. Actually, APCs. Not you guys, but these guys... Change it maybe to APCs? Uh, can we do it twice, maybe? Uh, almost. Really gives us quite a bit more armor. Kerensk? Because I want to make sure we get enough divisions to just fully take out Novosibirsk. Oh, what's over here? Uh, war bonds? Sure, why not? That could help out. Kickstart biochemical research? Oh, that's a lot. Oh, mine is 40%. New Kickstart nuclear research? We do have a lot of peepee. -pee. I mean, don't get me wrong. Wow, why does it cost so much? 150? I guess we'll go there. Oh, we can do more stuff here, too. Resistance circuit goes down. Hmm. That's not bad. I like this one. Sergei? Sergei is really good. Sergei is like the one we probably want to go. Konev is dead. Resistance circuit is not bad. Zukov is not too bad either. Shepilov is. Eh. Health and safety. Eh, it's okay. Uh, Vasily Stalin. Not bad. Yuri Andropov. Sounds familiar. Not terrible. Antonin? Hmm. Let's to wait and see. Actually, I'd like to get a partial mobilization too, but we'll see. Okay, we've taken both the capitals. Where's the next capital? Kedensk is gone. Norilsk? Oh my goodness. Please, 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 please. Please keep conquering. Oh, I should have sent in the tanks or something here to do the job. There it goes, Norsk. Alright, that's what I wanted to do. Oh, wait, hold on. We've got to make sure everyone doesn't have orders, though. There we go. Well, at least we're getting a lot more political power right now, I guess. That's good, I suppose. And we can only get 2.14 every day. Not bad. Thank you. Keep building, building. 1, 2, 3. Oh, 3 plus. 3.9. Nice. I guess we could use some tanks here, too. Unleash a, tor a torrent of Red Army might. Okay, America. You are literally just bombing the hell out of everybody. Stop it. You are such warmongers, America. You let them come back in their paternal autocrats. Are you kidding me, man? Man, oh man. Total disarmament, huh? Well, I don't know if this campaign is going to end very well just because I'll probably end up going to war with Germany and taking them out, but then we're probably going to get bombed all heckin' back from uh, the Americans. So, we'll see. And the UK. Don't want to forget about the UK. Concentrated Industry 1. Let's grab some more what? Ah, military factory construction. Why not? Sure. Yeah, well, yeah, guys, yeah, help us out. Yeah, why not? We've lost 46 versus 15,000. I think that's pretty darn good. Mass production is pretty darn good as well. Get some more resource efficiency gain because we could use a few more rubbers. Thank you. And then we're going to probably go to war with Krasnoyarsk. Chita, Altai. Chita might be a little hard to get to, though. That's pretty tiny. Oh, the UN occupation of Germany? Yeah, don't ask me, man. I'm not I'm not involved with your stuff. Tank designer. Oh, motorized, mechanized. Uh, motorized and mechanized are not really worth it in uh, Thousand Week. Right? You want APCs. You really just want them in your divisions. Krasnoyarsk is next. Even the supplies probably going to be pretty bad for this. That's okay. I'll leave you guys out of this. Let you guys just all kind of buddy up here. Tomsk? Oh, I know Tomsk. 
Yeah, we're definitely gonna need some more uh, supplies up here too. So, anything else? Oh, restore order. Yes. Here we go. Get ready. Three. Eh, maybe not ready yet. Oh, who's back? Kyrgyzstan. This actually might be doing really well if you just send three divisions that way. How strong are they? Not that strong. You should do pretty darn well. Three-ish. Two-ish. Uno-ish. Oh, I need to tell you what to do. Okay, there you go. Go in, guys. Go, 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 go. You're not full strength yet, I know, but whatever. Nice pushing in. Can't imagine them being too strong, but then we'll go to Altai next. Too bad Germany had a civil war and they lost. If they avoided the civil war, then they might not have gone to war with the Americans, and we could have had a proper war against them. Just us and them. That would be a lot more fun, in my opinion, but, you know, whatever. The UK just had to get involved. Are they a puppet? They should be a puppet of the UK or USA, right? Yeah, their independence is guaranteed. God dang it. That's incredibly disappointing. I don't want to fight the Americans. I don't care about fighting the Americans. God, fighting over rivers sucks so much. I really wonder if you guys could do this by yourselves. You probably could be able to do it by yourselves, though. Tashkent, yeah. Oh, no, you guys just help out. That might be just enough to take them out anyways. Go there. I know going to the hills and mountains is really bad for these guys, but what? Whatever. Tashkent is gone. Good, good, good. Did you guys win yet? Are you winning, son? Nice. Bukhara. Good. Come on, guys. You've got this. Don't worry. We lost about 200 guys versus 15,000. Um, I would... Yeah, okay. I was going to say one guy. Okay, you don't need all six to go. There you go. Getting more army XP, too, but we don't have enough supplies to really put, use them effectively. We need more artillery. We need more support equipment, probably. Actually, no support equipment's okay. Signals? Might as well. Good, good, good. Alright. And then you guys do these guys next. Oh, we actually have a focus we can do. Expelling American imperialists. What else is there to say? We thought the Americans would be trusted with their backs as allies against fascist imperialism. And since we found their knife dangling from our backs as the East broke us and began their adventure into collaboration. We must purge this stain from the Union at all costs, even if it means we... Uh, that of the stock must be purged in the sea of blood to finish the job, and when we are done, and the last imperialist opportunist is driven to the Pacific, we will raise a banner of socialist victory, and the world will tremble at its shadow. Good. Wait, I didn't click on enter. Why didn't I click on enter? Nice. And after that one, what shall we do? War bonds? Might as well. We love war bonds. More stability. Eh. Oh, wait. Oh, they, they went to war cheetah. Okay, so we kind of have a timeline here. Oh, that's good to know. Good to know. Out of that, reuniting the Russian SFSR. The oldest of the Soviets is also its most fractured. Our beautiful Rus Russian Soviet scattered to German barbarity and the wholesale horrors it implies. With the collapse of the German Empire in the East, an unprecedented opportunity arrives to consolidate a rule. Merger, conquest, and rebellion at last atop the ruins of fascism, demise. Glory to Russia, glory to the Union. We get fatigued army, which sucks. Western Soviet territories, huh? Alright, well, okay. Let's not go before we need to really go on and finish these guys off. Uh, I thought we got everything they had. Okay, well, there goes Banat. Banat! Everyone's favorite country. Banato. Italian East Africa, not Italian East Africa. Go ahead, go on in and force the attack and kill them all off. Nice. And then we'll kill off the Russian Republic. They're a very Western imperialist puppet. Vlasov! Of course Vlasov would be leading that. Oh my goodness. Of course Vlasov would be. Artillery's already pretty good. I guess we'll get some more recon, maybe? I guess. Cheetah's gone. Oh, we need... We don't even have AK-47s. Oh, I feel so bad now. That does not look like an AK-47. I should know, because, well, I should know. But come on, man. Seriously. Kiva? I think these have been marching a lot. 
Um, who else can we take out? Cheetah, probably. A oh, Kyrgyzstan. Shouldn't be too bad to take him out, right? How much longer do we have to wait for the Uzbek Khanate? 99% of the way there. Wow. And we read this one. Good. Oh, Uzbek Khanate. Thank goodness. Reuniting them. God, America's so violent, man. Oh, another tank division. That's pretty nice. World propaganda could be pretty good. People's Republic of Tajikistan. Oh, to be at peace. Oh. All right, that's nice. What's it down here? Oh, U.S. U.N. occupation of Germany. Yeah, no thanks. Thank you very much, Altai. They don't get any of this. They didn't go to war with them. You don't get jack squat, Sonny. Nothing for you. All right, my friends, and now it's time to take out the state of Kyrgyzstan. Oh, Kyrgyzstan. If only you... Well... Only joined us. The Italian thaw. Okay, too little, too late. All right, so be it, so be it, so be it. End of fascist. Okay, the Italian thaw and then fascist Italy. So be it. All right. Oh, we lost that. So be it. Jalalabad. Jalalabad. We must go to Jalalabad. And next up, reuniting with Vasilevsky's troops. The lands of the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic had longed for liberation from their overlords for decades, and the brutality of fascist rule surely sharpened their hunger. We will authorize the intervention of our troops in the rebellion raging against German rule in exchange for Field Marshal Alexander Vasilevsky. Personally submitting to our formal authorities, soon the fields of Ukraine will glow, or shall glow with a new red splendor, which, technically we already have them, so... Not sure why we have that, but liberating the liberated. Also, and is a state built on oppression as deep as the day is long, and we will fully intend to uproot the system entirely. This will probably be a violent and chaotic process in itself, but the price of anti-imperialist activity has always been worth paying in any case. We are certain that the expulsion of German citizens will yield rich benefits for the native collaborators, and we'll, we will be displacing, although their armies might have to be crushed to do so. Not bad. Oh, Recon, nice. Very nice, very nice. I will take some of that stuff too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Military, please. Let's grab some better logistics companies because we will be using those hopefully very soon. Uh, you guys head in there and you guys uh, head on down there. There you go. Not bad. State of Kyrgyzstan, thank you very much. Not worth much, but that's okay. Sometimes they don't have to be worth much to be useful. I mean, because of supply, I don't want to be bothered with those guys too much over there. Um, hmm. One of the following must be true. Countries know what's the the Russian Republic, eh? Uh, let's kickstart nuclear research. Ah, that's why not. That's probably actually a really stupid idea for me to do, but whatever. Okay, what are we missing? Loads of anti tank and artillery. Alright, so that's not good. We're trying to build up the roads here, too, and building up some military factories as well. Overall, we're looking not too bad, not too bad. Even though I would like to kill up a couple more nations here. Oh, wait, do we have People's Republic of Tajikistan? The Russian Republic? Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, Tajikistan. Forgot about you guys. Sorry, my bad. Forgot you guys existed. Then again, I think a lot of people do, but that's just maybe just me. Are you guys ready to go yet? Are y'all ready to rumble? Are we going to be wrestling here? Get some planes first before we do that. I uh, keep making at least one of these at all times, too. Because supply-wise, it's probably not good, but at the same time, we should stop doing that. Um, you know what, I just kind of want to go to war. Oh, we finished the last focus. Liberating the liberated. Might as well, right? Alright, so it's probably a bad idea to go to war anyways, but we'll try it anyways, because we can. Overall, it's uh, kind of a standstill. Maybe I should have waited a little bit longer, but that's okay. There's going to be a lot of dead Russians here. Because these evil, fascist, capitalist, imperialists don't like us, and that's okay. We don't like them either. Get some more breakthrough. That's very nice, very nice. Very good. Well, then we can do that next. Attacking over river really sucks, but that's okay. Um, anything up here, really? No. 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 At this point, we might just say, just go ahead. 
No, maybe not there though. Stink them, stink them, stink them. All right, all but you head on into there maybe. You might be able to support the attack. Oh yeah, that's very nice. Well, we've lost eight thousand versus seven. Oh, actually, we've lost more than them, huh? Doesn't seem like it, but okay. Nice, very good, very good, very good. Oh, you guys are still struggling here. I see. That's not good. Ah, they do have tanks. So that's good. Oh, they. Well, I think we just killed off a division. We've lost more than they have, which is kind of surprising. Not gonna lie, a little surprising for me. I mean, I guess they have more troops, and their troops are better and well equipped than that. But it looks like they're doing like forced defense or something. Alright, well, we have to manage this a little bit better then. I would like to capitulate these guys before the end of the episode, so we'll see what happens. Oh, you guys are moving in anyway. That's, that's good. Have all you guys move in, that'll be good. Help them out. How much manpower do these guys have? Uh, about 100,000, we'll say. 33 divisions. We have more than that, but obviously they, their divisions are better well equipped. So be it. So be it, so be it, so be it. And again, they might actually have some... Well, actually, now we have planes here. That's kind of nice. Um, what are you doing? What do you mean? Can I cover army? Well, how about you face the other direction, you ding-dong? We can't cover the army! How about you look the other direction? I'll give you the six guys. We do that. Thank you. Pretty nice. Which means you guys can actually go here then. And you guys can help out right there. I really am surprised we lost this many guys. Hmm. 40 combat with would be too much supply here. We would have take too many supply issues. Or we would have too many supply issues to do well, so. Not bad. Uh, five divisions, take all but you and do that. Yeah, it's fighting over rivers is just god awful, but it's only one division, so they might actually be able to do well, especially with this group helping out, so. That actually do pretty darn well. Hopefully pretty darn well. Oh! If you'd like to read about Marshal Rokosovsky's burden, please go right ahead. Ultimatum to Finland! That we should have ever accepted the secession of Karelia to those upstart rebellious Finns is beyond our capacities to understand. Quite frankly, if we do not correct this mistake now, we have the power to do so. We would have to live with the everlasting shame of the Union's fathers. Never mind. We shall right this wrong by simply threatening the Finnish to hand over what is ours, and we will let the army do, to do all the talking for us, should they refuse. Attacking there is actually going to be pretty difficult. Uh, attacking here might not be so. Because we have you guys. There you go. Oh, we're still fighting over there, huh? All right, not bad. Sending up you guys over there. Sending all you guys over there. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Move on in as well. All you guys move in right there as well. If you can, help out. Help out. 52,000. They've slightly, they've lost slightly more than us right now, which is not bad. Of course, using infantry for this is not a great idea, but it is what it is. Oh, what do we have over here? I don't care about the pacification of Germany. Why should we care about them? Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, the Japanese ever has been executed. Yeah, they're going way too far. Holy crud. Dude, what is your problem? Hmm. Oh, I guess one of those guys. Because what I want to do is encircle these two divisions. It's only two, uh, one militia, one cavalry, but that won't be too bad to encircle and destroy. Do we elect this president of the U.S.? Wow, it's pretty bad. You can't get re-elected like that after you invade Germany and win. But okay, whatever. Industry. Let's go with training. More population? Sure. Oh, you guys need some help here too. I mean, technically they're already are encircled, so that's not bad. Yep. Yep, Yugoslavia. Goodbye, Yugoslavia. Not bad, not bad. Not great, but not bad. Logistics 2. Let's go with attack helicopters. Signal companies. Mm 
Nice. And once these guys are gone, that'll be very good for us. And bye-bye. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Give we guys some more time. They've up to 20 divisions, and then maybe we'll just do a general attack. Maybe, maybe not. So we'll see. We shall see. Good, 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 good. You guys just go march straight on in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And... Boom. What if we just did that? Over here is pretty bad. Everywhere else is doing it relatively okay-ish. I mean, we have way more manpower than them, so... They got way more manpower, too. They must be mobilizing. Oh, they did. They're on service by requirement. Wow. Alright, so we can't do any more focuses for now, but whatever. That's fine. Whatever. Any sort of upgrades? Finland caves. As we expected, the Finns have accepted our ultimatum and returned our rival territory. Greater Finland is no more. Very good. Very good. And I'll do this one, too. Who needed... Research speed. Fake Russians, man. Yeah, it looks like they're just doing last stand or something, man. So we're gonna, we have enough guns for now. Not, not for a long time, but we're going to need way more anti-tank as well. So just go and pop it up by 5 and go to 15 for them. They're fighting in mountains. They should be taking way more attrition than that. 49%, that's too little, man. That's way too little. Force them to die. They want to do that type of crap to us. And we're going to take more casualties than they are probably. But, you know, it is what it is. Whatever. I don't really care. Kill them all off. Actually, how many divisions do they have? 25 max. That's good. Fighting through these mountains sucks. Wait, Stevenson's been elected. I thought it was Dewey. Wait, what? Yeah, that's, a, that's the thing with the Thousand Week Rag. Like, it's it's good, but there's some things that you just really question what's going on. You really question, like, some things that really just go on. Sometimes you just can't explain it. Gotta keep killing them. Literally kill all the divisions. There goes Hungary because America is a warmonger. All right, then. They should become... Oh, uh, actually, do we have any spies? No, we don't. Our intelligence is not created. Okay, well, I guess we gotta do this one then. NKVD, we got rid of you, but welcome back. <laughs> Lost 124,000 versus 150,000. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of people are gonna have to burn and die here. It's unfortunate that they chose such a terrible path in life. Can we see, like, their stockpile? They should be completely out of everything. No, they don't. They're definitely not. But that's so, so stupid. That's so stupid. They're probably getting, they're getting completely propped by the Americans. Stupid Americans. I'm not gonna let up the attacks because we're gonna win anyway. So, uh, Sergey, uh, more infantry expert here. Sure, why not? That'll help you in combat. Good. Chinese American Cold War. Hopefully, America invades China. Let's hope so. What else, what else? We're making more roads, more military factories, which is nice. We're going to need way more guns now, so... Unfortunate, but uh, reality of the situation. Oh, well, I don't, I don't want to stop. I want to keep going. I don't care what it takes. Ooh. Work. Oh, what the heck? We can't... What the heck? That's dumb. Let's go and grab, who was it? You guys? Yeah, yeah. Sergei? Yeah, that's that's actually really good. That's actually probably the best one we can choose right now. Force them to die. Very, very good. And they're dying. Good, good, good. We're going to lose about 200,000 probably. Oh, look. Alexandra. Semyon? Romanov? Oh, Romanov? LL's making me kind of feel a little funny, but... Okay, Simeon. You got a Romanov in... Working here. With a bunch of socialists. After... 
what happened to the Romanov? Okay, whatever. Uh, do, just in case it gets America, I don't trust the Americans. Neither the Germans, so. And I know I shouldn't be killing off my own manpower by like this, but I can't be... I can't really care too much about it right now. And we're, do, we're gonna win anyway, so... Their strength literally is just barely not even going down. Wow. Lost 250, 200, quarter million. They lost a quarter million too, but I don't, I just, I just can't care. I'll be honest. I just can't care. These guys get such buffs. It's ridiculous, man. Attacking defense on core territory. We don't get any more defense on core territory. We get a little bit more attack, though. Oh, they got the anti communist front. So I have a little bit more control. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, division of speed. Oops, they lost something there. Oh, they must have just lost it, huh? Yep, all adults serve. Interrogation techniques. Government staff for schools. Seriously, like, they're just... I'm more than certainly getting a loan lease by America. There's no way that this group can produce that much this slow, this quickly, so... Force it. Kill them all. I don't care if you, these guys die or not. Because we'll have enough time to build ourselves up before we go to war with America, so... Russia relocated to Kalin. No, uh, where are you running off to, you stupid son of a gun? Nuclear. Ah, nice. Nuclear capabilities. Give up, you pieces of the garbage. They haven't even lost anything. We've lost way more than they have. I just don't want to stop. Just keep going. I mean, look at the manpower. I mean, six million. That's not bad. Hey, you son of a gun. How about you die now? There you go. Come to Vladivostok. Government's after schools. Pretty good. They're really making us pay for, for the territory, but you know what? So be it. This doctrine we have sucks. Your goal is to get all the way right here. Every person you meet has got to burn. Anything else? Not really, no. Seriously, come on, man. Give up. At this point, I mean, there's literally no hope left. There's no hope under the black sun, but still. Four hundred thousand, three hundred ten thousand. We're gonna find the leader and kill them all off. Well, at least it's good for experience. That's good. RPG. More soft attack, please. Good. Well, at least we weaken them so much that they can't really do much more to us anymore. So that's pretty good. Are we losing or winning here? Eighty-seven. And they are done attacking now. Come on, my god. Cut them off, just cut them off, cut them off, cut them off, cut them off, cut them off. You guys, why are you stopping? You're not allowed to stop. You're literally not allowed to stop. As we take more territory, we get more manpower, so any losses we take, doesn't really matter. Hey, we got a lot of a stock. What is going on here? Why is it 0%? What do you mean it's 0%? What? Is it because it's core territory? It might be because of that. Go up to 25%. Naval Department's done. Passive defense. Thank you very much. Lever. Uh, no. Evgeny. Svetlana. Svetlana. Oh, we can't put you anywhere else. Oh, that kind of sucks. So... Do we fight until we literally take every province? That is a waste of time and resources. Wow. That sucks. Can't still go there for some reason. I don't know why that is. Why it is, but okay. Fighters? Uh, we could do that. Design supplier? 
Okay, so we get range is okay. <sighs> Wait, twenty percent. What's the difference between these twos? There's no difference. Twenty percent, twenty percent, twenty percent, twenty percent, ten percent. Danish monarchy restored. Well, that's good. Research times. That's not worth it. Motorized. Hmm. Better production cost. Slightly more soft attack. I mean, twenty percent production cost is still pretty good anyway. So I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, I want more soft attack. Any upgrades? Yes. Scavenger? Gold scavenger. We could use more stuff on them. This is really stupid. I'll be honest. This is really stupid. I know we could go with one of those guys too, but come on, man. Seriously. This is... I don't... I Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm really glad that this nation is getting... The entire Russian section is getting reworked. This is not cool. If you take Vladivostok, I mean, that should literally be the end of it, man. That just does not make sense. Why it, they don't capitulate after that. that? In what world does that make sense? I mean, Kamchatka is probably not that much of a major industrial center. You know, just saying. I mean, I don't know my Russian geography that well, but that's what I get from these guys. Actually, give me you. We don't want to hurt supply too much over here, but just keep going anyways. You guys, get out of here. Come back to Tajikistan. That'd be nice. And have you guys come down to Finland and Baltic uh, Confederation. There you go. Kind of works, somewhat. It is 57, so we'll see. Tanks, come on, move, move, move. I know the roads suck. Tuba, man, you suck. We're trying to build everything up here as fast as possible. Oh, we actually got some infantry down there. That's kind of nice. Wow, we got a lot of roads to build, don't we? Ah, oh, Russian Republic. A pain in the butt to take out. And I do apologize for doing this. Oh, immoral warfare? What do you mean immoral warfare? What? It depends on your morals. Invisible ink. Interception group. Thank you. China announces his ambitions. Hopefully they don't want to go to war with us. That wouldn't probably be very good for us. Now would it? Keep going, guys. It's fine. Keep moving in. Even though supplies are just god-awful around here. That's good. Uh, half a million versus... Oh, more than half a million. Oh, they're out of divisions. They're literally out of divisions now, so that's pretty good. Guys, I literally told you to go in here. All of you guys, go. Don't do not do that to me. No, 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 no. You guys all get down there. You go right there. There you go. Subbies, I know it takes a while to get around the world, but... What the hell are you doing? Single action revolver, not bad. Let's grab some more arty. And some more tanks, maybe. Right, let's grab some of that. Sheet metal revolvers, very good. And we need to get some uh, research speed? No, not too much. Come on, come on. Will you die already or not? That should be it. Wh why is that one the last one we have to do? Why? That makes no sense. In what world does that make sense? We gotta take out the Sakhalin Islands? Vladivostok should be the capital no matter what, for the most part. Other than that, that's a waste of time. They wouldn't give up if they lost the loss of Vladivostok. Yeah, I really doubt they would not give up after that. Really doubt that. These guys all got to die too, so. Uh, next war goal. Ah, the Baltic Confederation. That wouldn't be too bad. Let's take out those guys quickly, maybe. Or maybe we'll start off the next episode with that, maybe. You know, let's start off the next episode with that war just because... It's going to take some time to get over there. The Soviets are reunited. And do we have focus? Unfortunately not. Comrade Vasily's Wars. 
Huh. Well, regardless, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will go to war with the Baltic Confederation. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!